Our Father, we can't thank you enough. We thank you for giving us this privilege to be in your presence again. Spirit divine, open our hearts. If you speak to us, we will not remain the same. If we hear from man, we may not live here with anything. But a word from you can trans transform the life of a man forever. Lord, even if it be a word today, speak it to our hearts. Amen. If there is any spirit in this environment that wants to distract our hearts, today we send that spirit to everlasting imprisonment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let your light shine upon our hearts. Amen. Let your light shine in this place. Amen. Speak to us. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Be the topic of today is the significance of skin. The significance of skin. What do we mean by skin? Skin. Skin is an ability that someone acquires through training. It's an ability is something you know how to do. And you know how to do this particular thing not because you were born with it, but because you discover that you have interest in doing that thing. And it does not, it did not just end at the level of interest, but you go beyond that level of interest and decide to train yourself. And it did not just end with the level of training. You have to discipline yourself and complete that training. Even after that training, you continue with that discipline to continue learning that thing and keeping yourself on track. Praise the Lord. We have a passage, and that is First Samuel chapter 16. Verse 14 following. First Samuel 16 14. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an and evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servants said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Let our Lord now command thy servants which are before thee to seek out a man who is cunning player, who is a cunning player on a hand. And it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. We know so very well. The first king of Israel. After he misbehaved, the Spirit of God that was upon him departed from him. And then we are told here that an evil spirit from the Lord came upon Saul. This spirit did not come from heaven. But what the writer is saying is that God allowed this spirit to enter. Remember, it was God who commanded the spirit. Oh yeah, my spirit, get up, pack your load, and live the life of Saul. And then God himself allowed this evil spirit to enter into Saul. And whenever this spirit manifested in the life of Saul, he would be misbehaving. And it was an insult. It was very, it was a disgraceful thing for a king to misbehave. And then the servants now discovered that if this man, whenever he listens to music, maybe by any music or any music, his mind will become normal. And they said, okay, let us look for someone who can play the organ. 
very well. And then the next son, when he was in his right mind, and told the king, we know this is your situation, you can't deny it, that an evil spirit is upon you. But we need someone who can play the harp very well. And as this man plays the harp, we have discovered that whenever they play music, you are no man. And even when the spirit is tormenting you and you are listening to music, you are you recover so fast. So please just give us your permission to go into the land and look for a man who can play very well. We believe that if this man serves you, and whenever the spirit comes upon you and he places her, you will recover. And people will not see your shame and our sin. And so said, okay, you go ahead. Praise the Lord. Now, there is a problem. The problem is that somebody is being tormented by an evil spirit. And the problem of a king is now making room for a search. A search for what? A search for somebody that has a skill. Praise the Lord. Imagine a situation whereby they go into the community, search throughout the whole land of Israel, and there is nobody that knows how to play the harp. Then they have to walk further and go to the neighboring countries to look for somebody. But there was a young man called David. Maybe by accident or any other means, they saw him somewhere playing this harp. Let us continue our reading. And so said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play, the seventeen, that can play well, and bring him to me. Then answered one of his servants, and said, Behold, I have seen. I have what? I have seen. It was just seeing he saw this young man. I have seen. A son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is calling in play, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a company person, and the Lord is with you. Look at the scripture. That this man, I have seen somebody, he knows how to play very well. This thing we are talking to you about, man, I have seen someone who can play this thing. He cannot just play this thing, but this man also trained himself to become a warrior. He is very good, he's a valiant man. He can fight. He is very good in battle. And it does not just end there. This man is comely. This man does not misbehave. He is very prudent. If you take any matter to him, he handles it very well and he's a boy. But the last qualification here, and he said, and the Lord is what? Is with him. And when the Lord is with somebody, tell me why all these qualities will not come up. Because when the Lord is with someone, that person will have the Spirit of God. And when you have the Spirit of God, you bear the fruits of the Spirit. And these are part of the fruits of the Spirit. Let's remember what David said. He said, I am wiser than my teachers. My teachers, because the Spirit of the Lord is in me, before they finish their sentence, I know where they are going to. Even when they are teaching me, they will teach me a, I will go home. The Spirit of God will teach me again. And expatiate on that a, they taught me. And I will know more than my teacher. Because I have something that my teacher does not have. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 19. Wherefore Saul so, sent messengers unto Jesse, that is the father of David, and said, and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. Where was he? This man has been, where has been played, where was so where is the Where is the day? Say bush. And Jesse took an 
ass laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a cake, and sent there by David to David his son unto Saul. And David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. And Saul said to Jesse, Say, let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he had found favor in my sight. And it came to pass, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well. And the evil spirit departed from him. Praise the Lord. David was in the bush taking care of the sheep. Some people who need, uh, who rear animals today, are stay in the bush. I have been privileged to meet with some of them in the village. When they used to come with their cattle and grace our cassavas, eat them up, eat our potato up, and the abokis there will be standing there and washing over their cattle. They will come from north and destroy our Many of them smoke. Many of them, they smoke. Why do many of them smoke? Because when animals are grazing, they have nothing doing. They want to use their time to do something. And uh, let me while you wait the time. They pick a stick of cigarettes and be smoking. Many of them, they drink. But this young man, David, when he had nothing to do, he would be meditating on the word of God. When he had nothing to do, this young man will pick his heart and begin to praise the Lord and begin to play his heart. And I wonder who taught this young man how to play hard when he was all, always in the bush. Remember the first time, the first time we heard the name of David, where was he? When Samuel went to the father and wanted to anoint the wrong person, God said, no, he's not here. And he asked the young the, 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 the father, Jesse, at this young man, he said, yes, he said, there is one who, that one is in the bush. He said, Oh, yeah, I will, I'm not going to sit down. I'm an old man. I am already old, but I will not sit until you bring this one that is in the bush. Praise the Lord. Amen. So David was always in the bush. This is another time. A king is looking for him. The first time was a prophet. Now it is a king. David was in the bush. He said, okay, go and fetch David now. Wherever you are in this world, if you please God, even if you are in the bush, the power of God will locate you in that bush. You are not a minister of the gospel, but we have some people, when they transfer them to the village, they complain. And there are people in church, I don't think there is anyone like that here. When they transfer somebody, in fact, it is the lay people that will go and sow evil seed in the heart of the minister. What do you do, Bishop? He said, Why are you asking? He said, You know, I, I, this, if this thought just entered my mind, I just had some kind of feeling. My spirit is telling me that uh, the bishop is not happy with you. He said, why are you telling me this? He said, why are you going to transfer you from Katita to Bush? The place is the God Bush, so source where they go save, they tell you, source where they go save, they wear the God Bush, so. Jesus, no village is no bridge. If everybody did that shit, who go preach for village? Why should I be angry? If the Lord lays it in the heart of the bishop or the venerable and said, now you go to that bush. 
in quotes, because I know there is no place that is a bush. Why should I be angry? When there are human beings there, even though they want soul in that church. Is it not the Spirit of God that took a disciple that we are holy, holy, holy? Go to that road. Go there. There is a man. Do you know? He took there, you know. How many were there that received salvation? How many? How many? Say one. one. So he's got the food. And that man took the gospel of fact. Here is Ethiopia. Which continent? Where? Africa. Now here? Is it? Is it not Africa? Fine. The man, God knew that that man, if that man gets hold of the gospel, the whole of Africa will be lighted by the power of God. And God said, you, get up now, go to that place. And when he got there, he saw the eunuch. And as he ministered the word of God to him, the man received the gospel. If you have been doing that before and you are in this house, if your mouth will not uh, permit you to hold that kind of word inside your heart, go to any tailor or shoemaker, tell the tailor they are about to be transferred. Please show this my mouth for me. David was in the bush. And then the king sent for him. And when this young man stood before the king, he never played. The Bible says, when he stood before the king, the king loved him. Somebody that was in the bush. If the glory of God is upon you, because you have a relationship with God, it doesn't matter how people describe you. Whenever it is your time to shine, nobody can quest your life. Adam and Eve were naked in the garden of Eden. And the serpent was selling them as you were standing here now, you were naked. I can see that you are naked. And you said, What do you mean by nakedness? Because I can't see my nakedness. He said, Even your husband is naked. He said, I have not seen the nakedness of my husband. I don't know what you are talking about. Why? Because the glory of God was covering that nakedness. And the moment they see that glory was lifted, and the first thing they realized, the Bible said, after they ate the food, they discovered that they were naked. And when God came and God said, Adam, where are you? He said, God, we heard your voice in the garden. And we hide ourselves because we were naked. Because we were naked. But the nakedness had been dead. Let's forget some of this makeup and put on the glory of God. Right. The glory of God. This is not the time to open cleavage and go for interview. Of which your breast, it will fail you if you want to fail. If you come with the glory of God and you did not come with any other power of attraction, you go with the glory of God, before you get there, the Spirit of God will be there waiting for you. And even no matter how you find it, all you do package in reach. If the man will not do interview for you, what happened to your wife? And then, now you be the first person. When they want to attend to, you don't pass a bit. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. We said a skill is something you acquire. No, God does not. People, people are born with talents, but people are not born with skills. The talent is the innate ability, is the inborn ability that you must discover in your life. But the skill, the talent will translate itself into a skill when you develop on that talent. What am I saying? If you know that you can play drums very well, and you did not learn at all. Maybe you just sat on it one day and you did very well. And people are saying, ah, continue, continue. You can play drums very well. You are good at playing the organ. And then you did not develop it at all. Well, the first thing you discover is, it is a talent. But when you continue to work on it, it becomes a skill. 
even when you are sleeping and they wake you up, immediately you will do that thing. And I admire our typists, our computer operators. Sometimes you, they will tell the stories with you and they are looking at another place and they are typing. It's like their hands, their fingers have eyes. They know where eye is. They know where comma is. They, they are telling stories and they are typing. It's wonderful. I just admire them. If you try to be possible, just beg them. Please give me this your fingers for two days. Let me go and use and display. I return it back to you. Let, it's not like that. It's not the fingers. They have trained their brain to the extent that they know what they are doing. Even when they are telling stories, their hands are working. That is the power of skill. You see the organ there? If somebody sits at, on that organ and you want to play and you don't know how to play, it will be confused. If you have entered before, it will, it will degenerate to migraine. If you have slight headache from one side of your head, there comes a way of sit down when you play. And you don't know where you go play. And people they look you and go peace over you. Because you have how many sets of it? And you they use left, they play. You they touch button and you they press. The things are so confusing. But one day, how you take the start to learn this organ? Now I'm not a suffer. Honorary suffer. Doremi, you say Doremi, Latin job. That is the first step. Of. See, this thing, now this beauty, now Doremi, teach me how to play organ, now Doremi, now you can teach me. If you don't know that Doremi, you cannot play that organ. How many of us here? Do not know how to drive a car in real life, but you got to drive for a dream. <laughs> Me, I don't drive like that many times. For a dream, and I'm not having drive for life. I even want to drive up. Sometimes eh, you will, the vehicle will be so confusing. Because you don't know how to drive in real life. When you drive with the dreams, in your dream, even when you drive, the thing will be confusing. But because it is a spiritual thing, you just maneuver somehow. But when you know how to do it in real life, and you are doing it in the dream, you do it very perfectly. Have you noticed that difference? That is skill. The skill you practice physically will even enter your spirit. Praise the Lord. Even when you sell in the marketplace, market, no day, market, no day, I see women with mats, they will be sleeping. And when the market will come, Madam, how much? They sleep. And if person get bad dreams for that time, you go smile, you just wake up for that bad dream when somebody is pushing you. You go to smile you because of man. I think you go to say now you can be angry myself. Maybe not the devil will work for you. Now when you go your neighbor's store, you buy 20,000 naira. Cash. You go talk to agent by force. But I have others, I have also seen women who will be selling and they are with me something. Is that true? As they are selling, they are operating their business even the time, the spare time they have, they are using it to win something. They are winning. They are doing something. They are breaking the law. They are doing something. But some others will say, market no day. When market no day, when David, what was David doing? When he was less busy in the bush, he will be playing the harp and praising his God. And that thing he was doing in the bush to keep himself company. Somebody saw him, and as the person saw him that day, that person recommended him. Where was Joseph? Joseph, where was he? In the prison. 
Yeah. Why your face is not bright? You said you drink today. Eh? No, it's not too much. You're not saying you drink. You said I drink too. Eh? Man, make your face. Okay, just tell me. Now they tell her. Play, 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 play. You interpret the dream. And somebody that heard him forgot him. But when he came to a time, forgot to remember him. After the king had tried all his best, all the magicians they came, they tried to interpret the dreams, they couldn't. And one said, I remember Joseph in the prison. If you have a skill in this house, and the powers of darkness are covering up your skill, may the glory of God, wherever you are, may the glory of God rescue you and announce you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Your skill will always find you out. Yeah. Even if people say, remain here for 20 years, no promotion, the day God will shoot you up. You will cry that day, or that's the way you will be crying before. God, why me? God, why this trouble? You will cry that day. But that tears of that day, the color is different. The color of that tears will be golden because that tears will be the tears of joy. He said, God, why did you just look at me like this? Is this miracle? Am I dreaming? And you are crying and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look at what Proverbs said. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. I want to read two versions. KJV. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Look at NIV. Proverbs 22, 29. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will serve before kings. He will not serve before obscure men. And this David served before a king. The skill located him. He was just a shepherd boy in the bush. But what he was doing, he kept on doing it. What even made David the best warrior in Israel? This young man had a catapult, an ordinary sling, and he was practicing. He would put a stone and turn it and swing it. And as he was doing it, a day came, there was a bear trying to kill one of the animals there. And David, the same way he was doing it, a little prayer added to the team, the small player, he fought the team and the bear died. And by the time David took food, it was food he took to the brothers on the battlefield. And he heard some people saying some things. And he trusted that skill. He said, But I know how to do this thing now. These people, they are deceiving themselves. You are seeing a man. You have no gun, you have no bullet. You have no machine gun to mark the only place this man is having. You are seeing the man, all his body is iron. And the man is taller than you. Your sword cannot get to his face. He is putting on his whole armor. The whole of his body is covered. And you want to fight this man? Me, I have something. I have my skill, and the same way I kill the bear, if I use that skill with the power of God, that stone, the power of God will direct it to the proper position. And when David, the same skill, do you know what Saul, the, the, the Goliath was saying? He said, who is this small boy? Am I a dog? Yes, I have been using this thing to kill animals. And since you reduce yourself to a dog, I will use this thing to pull you down. That don't underrate your enemy. Some of us were disappointed when we underrated our enemies. He said, What did he go to? Make it sit down there. And you know use power. Before small girls, small by the time you say, I go 
He's a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Not the only one in the job. And as the man appeared before us, so you just see him alone, now you like him. You go tell the papa, said, This one, this particular one, now my own, go take permission again. Say, Make you release her for me. Totally. If you don't graduate from school, no work, do something. Many of the Kaka writers you see, they are mechanics. But as they open their workshop, you say people know they come. Customers know they. Okay, better they manage this Kaka for evening when I don't close from my workshop. Now, now, person when they, when they repair, don't talk to Kaka writer. Five years, you the right Kaka. The skin, you don't die. When you know the shepherd knife, how you they be? You they use the knife, you know the shepherd at all. It could die, it could eat blood. But when you were saying, whether work day or not, if you don't know what customer you will get for what we manage, just put that for another thing. But continue, if you continue to do that particular thing, one day God will remember you. Maybe the day that man in the palace saw David. Maybe David would have been lazy. I said, I don't want to play today. Waiting now every day that they play safe. Now every day that they practice. But that day he continued. And it was that day that man saw him. If there is no work, go and learn job. Some people they want to, but they don't get office. Then they collect salary. And the name of their job, my boyfriend, na my fiance. Na job, fiance, na employer. You do something. Do something. Before I was selling, I was selling somebody. The, the person squeezed juice. And we were talking, I said, if somebody decides to establish his business in this world and open a small shop, put fruits and bring fresh juice, fresh fruits, when people come, the way you cook and serve people, you serve them in their presence, you just own machine, prepare the juice and give to them. I say you will see big men coming, most of the places needs. You will see people coming to buy juice. If it is cheap, you are not making millions in a day. For five naira, for five naira, the, thing, the rate of turnover will become high. Then we don't want to work. You see people every day, help me, help me. I'm not saying you should do ask for help. <laughs> but you go say do something. One woman reached me. He said, give me, if you give me 500 naira, I'm going to save your water. Now I tell her, I say, if I give you that 500 naira, I don't see you use accept your water to arrest you. Now he say yes, now give up. And on that day, the same woman, after some moves, he meet me again. He said, brother, I need 500 naira. Make her accept your water. I say, I will come to this market. The one I give you, you know you accept your water. So I know they give you again. Do something. Another one, beg me every day. I told him, let me give you work. You say I'm a musician. I say, make I give you work. I don't get job. Me, when they tell us, I don't get job. But I wish you say yes, you don't put role for my life with that. <laughs> and I must do something because I will respect my God. But thank God, he say, I know more work. He say, I'm a musician. You be a musician, I'm not catching the sick. I never hear your voice any day. Now, people pocket catching the sick, but. You 
receive punishment that three years. But me, when you take the legal soul, I don't see after your after that three years. Try and give one of our boys for you. Make it look to say brush. No use to play. Now my uncle went first me, sign this work. Now they are start to stand up and everybody.